Alrighty, folks, just in case you've been wondering what's been in, I want to talk a little bit about the Beaver Valley Bluegrass and Old Time Music Festival that happened on Memorial Day weekends in Brady's Run Park from 1984 to 1994. Uh, we, I went to the research center in Beaver and pulled out their file on music looking for information on the festival and there were only a few articles in there from a 10 year period. So I went to the Beaver County Times, I've been going through the archives. We have documented and archived just about all the articles that happened in the Beaver County Times, perused the pictures that the photographers there took. I've also been in contact with several of the founding members uh, and folks who have volunteered and attended, uh, gathering quotes and memories from them. Also been working it through the internet on the uh, Beaver County pages and stuff, seeking people who have a little bit to say about the festival. So that's one of the things I've been in. Uh, in regards to that, I'm really excited. I have one of the founding members coming down for an oral history interview that we'll be doing. I'm looking for other members and other folks who were involved with that festival to build that library of information. Uh, it's only a small touch point of my research into music of Beaver County, but it's a very important one. It's close to my heart. I attended most of those festivals. I also understand that there seems to be a group of younger folks who also attended that festival and who are interested not only in uh, learning about it, how it was operated and what it accomplished and how it worked within the community, the county, with so many organizations, nonprofits to put that on. That festival, my friends, in 1983 to 94, grew and was held during a major growth period in the bluegrass industry. Now, I am a bluegrass fan, I'm a music fan, and bluegrass is one of my key musics that I really like a lot. That industry has grown hugely. There are festivals, Merle Fest in North Carolina, who attract over 100,000 people. Uh, the IBMA holds an event down in Raleigh, North Carolina that dumps over $30 million into the local economy during a one week uh, conference session and uh, festival at the end of that week. There's a huge festival out on the West Coast called uh, Wintergrass all put on by nonprofits reaching out to help folks. And that's what music can do. So with the uh, documentation of the festival, that leaves folks who are interested opening uh, to document not only that growth, but what that festival could have been and maybe still should be. That's what's happening in Beaver County Bluegrass Old Time Music Festival Research. Have a nice day, folks.